Why are they on the other <gasps> Oh, cleaner cut than you. <gasps> Don't you think I look so much better with a beard? I look better than you. Guess you're gonna have to watch and find out why I chose to wear a beard. KK, hey! How are you doing? Here comes the disclaimer. Disclaimer. If you do not like hearing other people's opinions, hearing someone talk about random ish cannot take a joke, then this video is not for you. Some of what I say in some of the skits may affect some of you, but it's not like it doesn't happen. If you happen to be offended, well, let me tell you now, you shouldn't be. So take everything in this video lightly. Stop now if you cannot handle any of the above. I have now warned you. I will not be held accountable. But hey, if I do happen to offend you, it was never my intention to. So let me ask for your forgiveness in advance. Enjoy the video! P.S. Put the subtitles on for the best experience. So we're doing this again. I'm gonna open your eyes. For those of you who want to know where I get these quotes from, it's literally an app called Anime Quotes. And well, for now, I'm gonna uh, be using this to find my quotes. Sometimes it's nice to read when you're going to sleep or something. Sometimes when I'm bored, I just go through the quotes and read them because they're just nice to read and you learn it. You learn a bit from them as well, you know? So yeah, quote one. Even when our eyes are closed, there's a whole world out there that lives outside ourselves and our dreams. A whole new world. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I couldn't help myself. Anyway, there is a whole world out there. The world does not revolve around you. The world never sleeps. I also interpret this with our dreams. You can be anything you want to in this world. Just dream it and believe it. As cliche as it sounds. But, you also need to make goals to get to that dream. You need to go step by step. Otherwise, that dream is just going to stay as a dream. Believe in yourself, okay? Don't procrastinate! Quote two. In society, those who don't have many abilities tend to complain more. If this isn't true, then I will... Eat my posters. Which is never, because it's totally true. And I would be very sad if I had to eat my posters. I mean, look at them. They're so pretty and they make me happy. What that makes me happy? The amount of people who complain about Ish is astounding. Most of those people don't even have any skills, do they? Like, for example, that Asian auntie or grandma that everyone knows and has, probably, that always complains about anything and everything and about how crap their lives are and they're always gossiping about other people because they haven't amounted to anything in life except popping up 10 children and are jealous of anyone and everyone swear down these aunties of ours speaking about the muslim backwards minded community have never heard the hadith backbiting is like eating the flesh of your dead brother and it's also worse than unusual intercourse if only they knew Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I believe is the sayings of our Prophet I really want to shut some of these artists up by telling them this But I never have a chance because they don't say a word in front of me But I know for a fact that they do back quite Boy, I would love to put them in their places I don't mean to discriminate against the females because the males are just as bad Especially in the Asian, South Asian specifically I mean, we're all similar down there, right? But I shall speak for the Bengali community Into the script Did you hear about that girl who got pregnant before marriage? That is why her parents got her married off Did you hear about that boy? Apparently he's gone into acting He's not going to get very far in life You know my sister-in-law? She's so mental She gets mad at us for talking about other people How dumb is she? Tell her how far it is for her Christian I saw your daughter with some boy the other day. He's a bad boy. You should kill him. Oh, and get her married off as well, yeah. I bet she's lying about being touched up by that guy for attention. <coughs> 
Well, I guess you guys are happy in the flesh of dead bodies. <coughs> Quote three. People who can't throw something important away can never hope to change anything. Now this is an interesting quote. People in general are just so fixated on objects, so fixated on things. Like their whole world will be over without that thing. Like you guys for example. One thing you or we for that matter probably can't live without is your mobile phone. Your Androids or your iPhones. Yes, team Android for the win. You know, it's important to look after yourself too. Let go of your phone for a day and go for a walk in the park or something. Now, I know some of you will say that you need your phone for emergencies. Well then, you should leave it at that. Turn your damn dear off and put your phone on loud for calls. I say that like everyone has their phone on silent all the time, but it's probably just me. My phone is on silent 25-8, guys. So when I lose my phone, there's no point calling it because the damn thing's on silent. I digress. Put your phone on just for calls. Just don't use and waste your time on it. Time is precious and is going past. Every single second. Every second closer to death. Sorry, am I making this a bit morbid? <clears throat> anyway, what happens in a life or death situation? A robber with a gun who would kill you if you didn't hand over your belongings. Or, namely, your phone. I'm sure you guys aren't dumb enough to trade your life for some piece of plastic. This plastic is replaceable. Your life isn't. Did you know Steve Jobs did not let his kids near the icon? His own creation. Mad things. Fun fact for everyone. That should technically be a warning for us all. To stay away. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent again. Basically, if you're too hooked onto something, you won't change. I mean, changing is a good thing. Like, to improve yourself, you have to constantly change, right? Self-improvement, they're all good things, you know? I think it's safe to say it goes with breakups. Like, that love you had was important. It was important to you. But if you want to move forward, you're going to have to throw that all away to change and become a better person. I have now become an intellectual and changed for the better. Now, I can change the world. Quote four. When you are in front of the enemy, even if your hands are trembling, fight. Yes, yes, Maji. This is very self-explanatory. Don't go down without a fight, yeah? I will use this. Why do women have butts on their chests? <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine pooping from your chest? Ew. Oh, but well, if that happened, then then that would technically be considered normal, right? Hmm. What are those? Why are they on the other side of my butts are supposed to be? Why are they on your chest? I don't understand. No. Quote six. There comes a time when a man has to stand and fight. This is the time when his friend's dreams are laughed at. Luffy won't die. I know he'll be the Pirate King one day. I won't let you laugh at that. I feel like this is important. It's important to believe in your friend's dreams. It's important to defend them if they are being laughed at. Watch how that friend you believe in and everyone laughed at proves them all wrong. Now that's the best part of life. I want to be an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Does he want to be Humpty Dumpty? Does he want a great fall? Does he want to be cracked? Does he want to be scrambled? Does he want to be Does he want to be scrambled? Does he want to be poached? Oh, 
Remember that everyone you meet is afraid of something, loves something, and has lost something. I love this. This is so important to remember. Literally everyone in your life applies to this. So be considerate. Be considerate of everyone around you. Quote A. I don't know why snow is white, but I find such white snow beautiful, and I don't dislike it at all. Same fam, same. I love snow. When was the last time it snowed here? Properly. Last year, December, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, my fellow British people. OMG, I loved it so much. Had to, of course, make snow angels and snowmen. Um, uh, why not snow hijabis? I can't actually remember if I made one last year. Well, guess we'll have to wait and see when it snows and make one. And OMG, the snowball fights. Hello there, I am Professor Sabrina and I will tell you why snow is white. Go Google it. Nah, just kidding. I will tell you. There's a reason why I research it. I'm gonna try and condense this information so everybody understands it. Yay! So I'm going to make the assumption that everybody knows how and why we see colours. And how different objects have different wavelengths of colours. Snow is made out of small ice crystals which are all slumped together in this beautiful lovely whiteness. So these crystals are transparent. The see through. And when light enters the snow crystal, it changes direction slightly. Since snow is made out of many of these crystals, the light bends through each crystal. And there's all this light bouncing around. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And their respective frequencies. Until it comes back up, all the colours together make white. Have you ever tried one of those colour wheels? Have you ever spinned one? Well, if you haven't, it's a cool little experiment to do for yourself so you can see this happening, like this whiteness happening, you know? This is why snow is white! Quote 9! I can't even imagine a world without light. Okay, for those of you who've seen Death Note, know that she's referring to the character, the main protagonist, La Yagami. But if we are talking about this in general, then I don't think any of us can live without light. Like, literally. We would not be here without that little ball in the sky. The sun, which is our main light source. Yay! Oh, sun, I can't live without you. You should enjoy the little details to the fullest because that is where you'll find the things more important than what you want. I agree. When you're going to a destination, you should enjoy the journey. But sometimes the journey is the more worthwhile thing. See, I remember this strawberry shortcake episode when she was like slightly older. Her and her friends went to see this flower that only blooms once a year for a few seconds slash minutes and then closes again, I think. Anyway, in the end, Strawberry didn't get to see the flower blooming. But she wasn't sad. She was happy because she got to spend time with her friends and enjoy the journey to see the flower. Even if that plan didn't really work out. And by the way guys, it's okay if your plans don't work out. That's why you gotta make backup plans. We plan, and the Lord plans. Well, I hope I opened your eyes a bit more. And <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video too. Let me know if you agreed or disagreed, liked or disliked the way I did something. Let me know what I can improve on. I like to improve myself, as I'm sure all of you do too. Well, I hope you do. If not, then we got a question some things there. Let me know if you think I should do videos on just one character or from just one anime. So far, I've done each quote from a different anime in each video. If I ever do think of the skits for the quotes I've done, I will put them on Instagram and Facebook. Maybe make a compilation on YouTube in the future. Who knows? Anyway, bye! Peace out!